You know, many fitness buffs think that in order to get a good workout, they have to get a lot of energy by eating a lot of high sugar foods like bananas, <laughs> orange juice, and, and bread. But hey, look, if your aim is to reduce body fat, you know, that's not a good idea. You see, the body burns blood sugar first, and then it burns fat. So if you eat a lot of high sugar food, chances are, you know, your body just won't tap into all that pre-existing fat for energy. Hey, and if you really must eat something before a workout, try a low sugar food like apples or peanuts or, 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 or even eggs. You know, these foods are known to boost your performing output without interfering with that fat burning process. Oh, and, and what to do with all this delicious food? Save it up for your post-workout meal. That's when your body's metabolic rate is really high and your, your muscles are just hungry for food. It, it, it's like a sponge that wants to soak up all those nutrients. That's the time to outsmart your body. Uh, oh. oh, wow, when you get an injury like this, the first thing you want to do is you want to stop the blood from rushing to that injury and swelling up. And the best way to do that is to apply something that's cold. Well, if you're out in the field, you may not have an ice pack readily at hand. And, well, ice cubes, they melt pretty fast and they soak through cloth. I find that the best alternative is frozen mixed vegetables. Hey, you can just pick these things right out of your freezer or you can get them at your local store when you're out jogging. Here's how you apply this. You just take that mixed frozen vegetables, you put it over the injury, make sure you have a sock or piece of cloth in between it so you don't get a freezer burn. Then you take that opposite sock, you just slide it right over that foot there, and just wrap it over those frozen vegetables to secure it, and voila. Why mix vegetables instead of an ice pack? Well, first of all, it's not as abrasive. Secondly, it has better contact with the skin than an ice pack does, which is stiff. And thirdly, well, I find that, you know, a frozen bag of vegetables stays cold longer. And whatever you use, just leave it on there for about 20 or 30 minutes, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You may be wondering what kind of vegetables to use. I don't know, anything that's on sale that day. How you doing? We're back again. Sunday morning, Bill's Body Blast. But wait a minute. This here is Sue Jaime. That's David. And Laura back here, the pretty lady in my backside. Now look, we're here at the Mana Mana Beach Club Resort and this place is out of sight. And you know what? We're here with the sand, the beautiful ocean, and the nature. Let's do it, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mm -mm. Ready? Here we go. Reach. Come on. Five, six. Seven, eight, four, ooh, hit, come on. Hit, hit, huh, get it, uh, hit, ha, there it is, yeah, huh, ha, huh, ah, oh, okay, you may not have caught that. Let's do it again, here we go. I told you not to bring so many things, but do you ever listen? All these are important. Look, the high shutter, low light density camera. Huh? And look, the A Audio Video 7RX camera. The tripod, yes, we have that. And I have here with me. Uh, 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 we're reporting from the zoo. Uh, in fact, we just got here. We would have been here earlier, but Gregory was late. Late? Look, I was here five minutes ago. You were the one who was late. No, you were late. No, you were late. No, you... No, you were late. Anyway, can we come back to you just a little later on? We have all this stuff to get ready and oh, set right. up first. Uh, we'll see ya. Well, see ya. <laughs> hey, I said that first. Well, I can say it again. See ya. See ya. See ya. Hey, see ya. Gregory, Gregory, come on, let's just take this one. Well, you yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> now that's a peculiar looking African animal. I don't think I've ever seen... Oh, hey. That's Gregory! Excuse me, excuse me. Um, but we don't quite understand. Ah, but they do. They are from Africa. They speak African. Yeah. They're trying to speak their language. Oh, yeah? So, so what are they telling you? Mm. 
They said they're from Africa. Yeah, okay. They roam the grass. Oh, yeah. They weather the heat. Yeah. <laughs> when the land is dry and parched, they move. Oh. When the land is green and lustrous, mm -hmm. they feed. <laughs> Mm. Yes. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some chickens, E-I-E-I-O And a peck, peck here, and a peck, peck there Here, peck, there, peck, everywhere, peck, peck Old MacDonald had a farm and a E-I-E-I-O Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some goats, E-I-E-I-O Listen here, go my farm there and a mom mom there Here a mom, there a mom, everywhere a mom Hey, good morning. <laughs> this is Body Watch. I'm Bill Calhoun, and we're here at the Club Oasis at the Hyatt. Folks, for the next few weeks, I'm going to show you how to have a great time getting fit. We're going to talk about things like fitness tips, the best exercises to do, how to eat right without spoiling the fun of eating, how to prevent injuries, and how to get motivated to do all this stuff to get a healthier lifestyle. And folks, we're gonna show you how to do this without spending a lot of money on expensive equipment. In the weeks to come, we have special segments on women's fitness, for example. And we're gonna call down some of our local celebrities to find out what they're doing to keep fit. And then our TCS artists. We're gonna bring them down and we're gonna show them how to get fit. And for the next few weeks, I'm gonna be your fitness guru. But you've gotta make me one little promise and that is to take the first step. Get up and do this stuff with me. If you do it with me, I'll be right there to lead you the rest of the way. We're gonna show you an exercise here. It's for this tricep, and it's called a tricep kickback. This is probably one of the most asked about muscles in all the fitness industry. What you wanna do first of all, when you're preparing for this tricep kickback, place this supporting arm on something firm. Take that front leg, nice and support. It looks similar to the uh, hip flexor that we did, but it's a bit different because we're standing up. Take that other foot, keep it back here. Take your body and keep it parallel to the ground. Make sure this elbow comes right along that torso line. And then from here, as the weight is hanging here, kick back just like that. Hold it for a count, come back. Nice and easy movement so that you stretch that. There, you feel that? That is going to work that tricep like nobody's business, folks. And you don't have to use a barbell to get that strengthening exercise. Hey, look here. You can pick up a, a toolbox. You can pick up a briefcase and do the same thing. Like I said, not expensive. If you want to use a dumbbell, go ahead. If you don't, go ahead. Doesn't matter. But make sure you take that first step. Folks, we have so many things to do. We have so many things to give you with regards to fitness. I hope you stick around. Remember, you gotta be here. You gotta take that first step. But before you do, get on the phone and say, doctor, I wanna check with you. I wanna consult with you about my fitness before I engage in any kind of physical activity. Make sure, folks, that you give your physician a call. Hey, Bill Calhoun, your television fitness guru. Sporting Life Channel 5, Body Watch, We'll see you next time. Ha. Yeah. No, I'm doing this TV show called The Challenge, and this show is tough. I have to throw down with Terrence. We're sitting up here, bam, 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 bam. This is nothing like dance, I'm telling you. Maybe I am hot. You have got to check that television show out. The challenge, be there, okay? Quah!